Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 146 of Mountain Blade Up. Uh, wow, we are... Let's see, why are we slow? Oh, is it because of night time? Okay, oh, but we're still slow at 4.4, right? Uh, yeah, we have to get rid of all those prisoners. Uh... So, what's the problem? Uh, the minuses is... Uh, prisoners minus 0.4. So, we would be traveling at 4.8. And I think... Okay. Um, so, we're almost maxed out in our party. We are at 3... 69 okay uh manage the town ira is here okay she, oh she's run out of cash okay sorry ira that means uh we we disappointed you uh okay so the next one is militia grounds uh forum uh granary and then how many days left on this one? Oh, it's just starting fresh I think we can stop this and this would be the last one right uh, militia grounds or should we start with granary first let's start with granary first Uh, no, our orchards are fine. Garrison barracks. Let's start with gar granary. Uh, and then garrison barracks. What? Um forum no f oh uh no this one would is critical that's that that goes first okay everything shut down shut down shut down okay okay that one goes first and the next one would be, uh, say, Garrison Barracks. And then, uh, Militia Background. Uh, I think let's have Militia first, then Garrison. Because Militia doesn't cost money, doesn't eat food. Right? Why is it not registering? Okay, we'll. Sorry, Ira. We, we. I should have been here. Uh, we should have come back through here again uh, to make sure that you had uh, adequate funds to keep uh, things going. So, wow. Fairgrounds is very important. Okay. Uh, and then we can have the granary and then forum and then we can have the workshop maybe siege workshop first and then this of course the word see this one only adds what uh, oh plus three bonus to the construction okay and that's a lot actually adds a lot okay uh, so she has a long ways to go. Oh, we need to support her. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven projects, at least 70,000 maybe? Okay, let's just put it at 60 first. Okay, uh, let's go trade. Pujos, yeah, we're buying all the Pujos we can lay our hands on. 
Uh, Ramsey, Nakwasi. They're not too expensive. They're expensive, but not too expensive. Short sword, no. Uh, after this, uh, I think we will make a circuit. Wow. We will make a circuit of the um, surrounding areas. I mean, I want to take a peek at the... Um, at the home castle of uh, the Northern Empire. It is in uh, Kuzait lands. So we're looking for... the chess pieces. No. Wow, this is... Okay, and then um, if not, at least the cataphract. No, they don't have any. Wow, they have no... Uh, no horse armor. 23, 40, 44. Nothing too cheap, nothing too expensive. Uh, date fruit, beer. Oh, beer is expensive here. Oh, I don't think we have a lot of beer. Anyway, uh, beer, uh, clay, wood, iron, salt. Hides is expensive. Tools. Ouch. Okay. Hogs are expensive. House cows. 140 okay um well we can sell the hog actually geez that was wrong if we cut up the hog we actually make more money right because it's like the hide is over it's a lot more expensive than than the than 63 i think it's over a hundred something uh raw silk no um wool yeah we were we were getting for under 20. okay um tools linen silver ore pottery fine steel velvet no oh velvet should be cheap here how why is it so cheap here and yet they don't have velvet Oh, they have a velvet weavery, but there is no velvet. You know what? Is that a business we can buy? Olives, beer. Okay, done. I wonder what is the raw material for the velvet? Uh... You know what? No, no. Let me let me reconsider that. Uh, let, I have to find out what is the raw materials. Let me check online what is the material for velvet. I think we have room for another workshop. Uh, if we look at others, yeah, because we have we're now a uh, clan tier seven, uh, clan tier six. So we have. Epicotrea, Tu and Maranath, Sianon, Penkanak, Sargot. We don't have. And we can also get another party member, right? I think um, another companion. Uh, should we be able to get another companion? Yes. A tenth companion. So let us get a Kuzate, maybe? Or a Valandian. I think we already have a Valandian companion. We don't have a, uh, we have Kun, which is one of our daughters-in-laws. Um, okay, so we can have one more companion and one more workshop. Okay. Okay, let's go to the keep. Uh, let's go to the dungeon. Let's manage... Whoa. Whoa. What are all these people here? Okay. Okay. Let us... Uh, we will be selling you guys now that uh, you don't want to join us. Okay. All of you guys get over there. Um, okay. We will sell all the... 
Viglas. See, we gave you a chance to join us. Uh, you don't want to join us? You'll be, I think you will be more like slaves. Veteran archer, veteran infantryman, horseman. I don't know these outriders. They're camel riding guys, right? Uh, no, that does Veteran, sword sister, sergeants, legionary, cataphract, crusade guards. Okay, these guys we will not sell. Uh, I think we'll sell raider, marauder, looters, cell sword, hard spear, hard pike, caravan master, caravan guards, arm trader, caravan guards, Imperial Crossbow. Wow, that's a lot of trained archers. Sorry, Bub. You're all gone. And over here, uh, Imperial Mediavian, Imperial Veteran Archers. I think we want crossbow men. Uh, Okay, done. See, Imperial trained archers can, can convert to uh, veteran archers. Yeah, we're selling all of those guys. Then we go back to the keep, go back to the dungeon. What's the, with this guy? You know what? Let's manage the prisoners first before we talk to them. So we have 105 here. Uh, Cataphracts. Cons guard three, cataphracts five, uh, veteran outsiders, imperial five, imperial equities. We need to get them down to sixty. Uh, Palatine guards. Veteran Outrider, Sister, Sergeant Crossbowman, Legionary, uh, hmm. how many can we run with before we're cumbered and cumbered? Uh huh. I'd like to get more of these guys. Hopefully they will join us. Oh, too much, too much. Um. Okay, so sixty, and then we're carrying sixty. I think, yeah, our speed. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Okay, uh, done. And then we need to go uh, to our garrison to find out we are one excess. Kuzet uh, Khan's guard, uh, Imperial Sergeant Crossbowman. I think that is a level five. Fian champions. Elite Min Minavian. Sisterhood, Imperial 
Vigla, Heavy Horseman. How many of these guys are we keeping back here? I think we'll bring it back down to 80. No, 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 no. Stop moving. If we bring it down to 80, we still have 160 top tier troops, right? Uh, and then we'll have hor horsemen maybe down to 70. That will be 140. So we just need to be very careful. Because all of these will graduate to those levels anyway, right? The problem is uh, we might be too heavy with infantry, maybe? So we have cataphracts, equites, yeah. Uh, so our speed right now is 4.9. And, uh, oh, it's a snow that's slowing us down by 35. So we should be at 5.2. Uh, wow, this is, so speed here is, yeah, it's so important. Uh, Cargo, we're okay with cargo. Um, what about prisoners? Prisoners point nineteen. So the negatives are prisoners point nineteen and snow. Okay, so we're okay because uh, snow is applicable to everyone, right? It's not just us. I think maybe it does. It say about party size? I don't see it. Uh, you know, unlike in Warband, a party size has an influence. So, cavalry, oh, because we reduced the cavalry component, and that is why it went down to 1.01. .01. But about footmen on horses is plus 0.19. Uh, right, okay, I guess that's it. Yeah, because, well, it makes sense, because if you have fewer people on cavalry, or if the big component or chunk of... But it's still a hundred, uh, over a hundred, oh, this is 140, 153, 193, uh, over 200. So two thirds are, are mounted troops. Okay, I think that is, Do we want to drag more infantry troops with us? Oh, this is uh, Asurai veteran, I think. Can, can they level up? Oh, they can level up one more level. Okay. Um, should we bring more? Or... Um, I was thinking if we are going out there to scope out the Northern uh, Empire, we should go out in strength, right? 200, 300 is pretty strong. Um, it's just that uh, our infantry is not getting any work out. Uh, Should we improve this? But that means... No, not good because it's it's now 4.8, right? It was 4.9 before. Uh, trained infantrymen. Imperial veteran infantrymen. Huh. So these Imperial Veteran Infantrymen can become uh, I think uh, Yeah I think that's a better deal That means uh, We're moving at 4.9 Let's keep these guys
So at 300, it was uh, 4.9, right? Yeah, the Vega recruit, uh, recruits. Uh, okay. Yeah, again, uh, we want there to be. We want to go out there with strength. And then in the stash, I think we can keep some of our throwing knives in there. Um, we have too many throwing knives, I think. Right? Uh, we have like uh, this one. This is tribesman is like 500 of them. Yeah, let's let's stash them in here. Uh, tribesman dagger, large bag of tribesman dagger. A leaf blade, leaf blade, bent, rusty, um, broad bladed, and uh, highland. Okay, let's let's keep the broad bladed too. Okay, so that greatly decreases the amount of weight we're carrying. Maybe I'm not sure. Okay, and then. Uh, how about here? Um, so we're carrying 33,000. How about uh, charcoal, wrought iron? Ooh. Let's keep this in here for a bit. Because we're not ready to process these items yet. But we'll be, we will be making our home base here for, for some time. Okay, uh, once we start doing smithing, let's do a quick run through of the area first. That's Mitara. Okay, Mitara at least is uh, has a big patrol range. Uh, Taya is parked there. And Idenor is up here in Penn. Yeah. That's Idenor's party. Okay. So I... I'm not seeing any burning things, right? You know what? We never really check on how big is the Northern Empire. You know, we've been fighting... <laughs> this is like... It's like... We have violated uh, Sun Tzu's biggest biggest uh saying is that know yourself and know your opponent we don't know our opponent this is the guy head of the that's a king right wow he has a lot of relatives okay oh no 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 uh argoros Clan strength 142. Wow, that's a lot of people too. Clan strength 145. A lot of people too. What's this clan? I didn't get the name. Oh, uh, Neretsis. Neretsis. And Impetores. Oh, this is a small clan. Very poor. 86 uh, Clonus 64 Very poor And no babies, right? So that means, yeah, this is even poorer uh, This is uh, Falentes Oh, these have a lot of babies We should get this guy Vatatses Poor and they have a lot of young people, right? These are, yeah. Yep, they are very young. Okay, okay. That's good. That's good, actually. So this is Vatatses. Okay. Um, and one of our... What do you call this? One of the prisoners wanted to talk to us, right? I think. When we were in here, uh, I think in the keep. No, no. Uh, I want to save this first before we do any chit chat with the enemy. <laughs> uh, 
If he proposes to serve under us, we will take him on. But I doubt it because we are still, we haven't declared our own kingdom yet. So I don't think uh, we have access to vassals. I'm willing to give him Veron Castle, which is a, an imperial property, uh, if he will be our vassal. So I think that's better than right now he has no castles at all. And the other party that we want to get are the Batanians. I mean, the clans from the Batanians, because we have a lot of castles in Batanian area. And they would be the good match for vassals because we have a lot of castles to give to them. So each Batanian vassal we get, we'll give them one castle. And then that will also minimize our, uh, our garrison cost. Okay, uh, let's talk to this guy and see what he needs. Hey, what happened? I thought there was uh, one guy who wanted to talk to us. Uh, right? Ah, uh, oh no, no, we were in the dungeons and... Yeah, manage the prisoners. What? What happened? What happened? Or is it because uh, we placed him... I think it's because we placed him in in the cells. Is that what happened? And when we left, yes, this guy says, uh, raid an enemy territory? Let's see, uh, Lord of um. What? Lord in Umbrella? Okay, okay, anyway, uh, I am confused. Okay, anyway, uh, I guess this would be a good place to cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you join me in the next episode. Bye!